Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kranti Sheik. Today in this video, I am going to tell you about how to use Google Keyword Planner so that you can able to download the keyword ideas from Google and utilize it for SEO purpose or Google Ads purpose. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to the channel so that you won't be missing any future updates on any digital marketing ideas. So first of all, you should have Gmail account in order to create keyword ideas from Google Keyword Planner. Google Keyword Planner is the tool provided by Google for free. You can just go to Google and type Google Keyword Planner. You will be getting a link from Google. You can just download by clicking on this one. It is an online tool provided by Google. Once after opening, just sign in with your Gmail account. If you are opening this tool for the first time, you have to create Google Ads account in order to use Google Keyboard Planner. So if you have not created any account, it will ask you for creating an account. So just create free account provided by Google. So once you open this, you will come to Google Keyword Planner here. Now I will show you how to use Google Keyword Planner in order to do advertising on Google for your website. For example, if your website is about dental, dental services, if you are providing any dental services in any particular city, for example, assume that you have a clinic in Delhi and you want to provide a service for the users who are searching for dental clinic. So first of all, you can see there are two options here, discover new keywords and get search volume and forecast. Here, you can utilize this option for getting new ideas from Google. For example, if you know about one keyword and you want to get different type of keywords from Google, like how many people are searching and what type of keywords exactly people are looking for. For example, here, you have to type dental clinics as we are searching for the people who are looking for dental clinics and you want to target the people who are searching from only Delhi. So type Delhi and select Delhi here. So now you are going to target the people who are searching in Delhi area with the keyword dental clinics and related keywords. Just click on save and click on get results. So this is the type of search you are looking for. You can able to get different type of keywords here. You can see keyword and average monthly searches. For example, for the dental clinics, there are people who are searching around 3600 every month. And you can see the competition level also. Competition is nothing but if the type of keyword is having more competition or low competition. Google will provide with three type of competitions like low level competition, medium level competition and high level competition. So you can choose the keywords accordingly based on competition and the search volumes you have for the keyword. Apart from competition, you can see there are two more options which are important to choose your average cost per click. That is 13 rupees for top of page bid and top of page bid high range and low range. This is the low range and this is one high range. 
what is the difference between low range and high range for top of the page bid that means people are paying google whenever their ad is coming for first page and sometimes it may come in the bottom of the page here if you are paying this amount your ad will come on the top of the page so what you have to choose is you can choose the average cost per click then you can bid in google ads for example here you can see 13.75 rupees and 29.87 rupees so you can take the average like you can take 18 rupees or 20 rupees for your keyword that is dental clinics so now i will show you how to download the keywords and how you can segregate for your google ads in order to download the keywords you have to click on download keyword ideas you can see the option here in order to download so just click on download keyword ideas you can able to download just open the excel i will show you how you are going to get the keywords in excel so these are the different keywords provided by google in order to use in google ads or you can you can also use it in the seo purpose so we got around 617 keywords so in order to explain i want to take top searches and i want to take only 10 searches the 10 keywords here so i will make this in, from largest to smallest so that i will take top keywords so these are the top keywords who are searching on google in delhi area because you, we want to target the people who are particularly searching on delhi so i will take top 10 maybe we can take top 20 So we have to segregate the keywords into different ad groups based to in order to improve quality score. So we have to choose the keywords and keep it in one ad group, whatever they are relevant actually. For example, you can see all the keywords with the name dental clinic here. So what I will do is, so I will keep all the keywords So we, for example, if you are taking top 10 keywords, you can observe two types of keywords here. So here, I choose these keywords here, these keywords here, and this one in next ad group. Ad group one and Ad group 2. I have segregated these 10 keywords into two ad groups by segregating the keywords. Why I have chosen these keywords in the ad group 1 and two, two keywords in the ad group 2? Because these are looking some relevant to dental clinics. So all these below keywords are relevant to dental clinics and in the second ad group, I can see dental hospitals is the main keyword. So that is the reason I have segregated into two ad groups in order to improve our quality score. So that once after segregating, you have to write ad copies for your keywords. Google will suggest to write at least three ad copies in each ad group you may start with one one ad but 
I, would, I suggest to add at least two or three ads for each ad group. So add one, add two, and add three. I will show you one ad that you can understand and you can write for two other ad copies. So based on this, we have to write ad copies now. For example, as you can see it in the Google Ads tool, you should write the ad copies within the character limits. So there are headlines, headline one, headline two, and headline three, and description one and description two. Apart from these options, you, you can see display URL as well. So display URL is nothing but XYZ is your website. So Google will give you two options to write. I will show you. So we will complete headlines and description. Then you can see how you can paste it in the Google Ads. So dental clinic near me, near you. It is not good to read dental clear near me. So that is the reason I'm writing the add one copy like this. And we can write best dental clinics in your area. If characters are not, not sufficient, so you can reduce the number of characters which you are writing. Maybe best offer. So try to cover all keywords in your headline and description. You can't write all the keywords in the headline. So try to include main keywords in the headlines and other keywords in the description. For example, I have included dental clinic in the headlines. So maybe I can add one more headline here with the name advanced dental clinic near me. Maybe you can write like this advanced dental clinic and you can leave it as it is and you have to write description one and description two as well so are you suffering um dental maybe tooth pain is it just dental clinic in your area Call now for more details. Remember, you should not use your phone number in the ad text. There are other options to include your phone number by using ad extensions. So this is the description one. And in the description two, we can include some more keywords, something like best option to choose. for all dental related problems at affordable prices. So you can include the keywords in the headlines and description so that it will it will be more relevant to the users who are searching on the Google. So once after completing all your ads, you have to write add two, add three as well. And you can continue the same process with the ad group two as well. So once after completing, you have to submit to the Google and it will take at least 
one hour to 24 hours in order to review your Google Ads. One, once after complete, completion of the review, your ad will be approved. So in this process, if you have any doubts, you can just leave a comment. I will answer the questions which you are asking. So don't forget to subscribe this channel to get all future updates on digital marketing. Thank you. In the, I will see you in the next video.